Hi, welcome to this video where we're going to look at how to programmatically display widgets with Flutter. The article for this video can be found over at developer.school and we now have a Discord which you can find a link for inside of the description. So here we have a new Flutter project. We have a MyBox widget and that MyBox widget simply has some text. When we select the box, it provides a void callback and on the home page, we can scroll down and we can see all we're doing with this is simply displaying a snack bar on screen. We then have this checkbox list tile and the checkbox list tile will be used to either programmatically display or hide this widget. We're going to look at the various different ways we can manage that, starting off with an if and ternary statement. So the value of should show is currently set to true whenever this home page is initialized. So on our my box, if we make the should show and we add a ternary statement using the question mark, this will essentially say if the should show boolean is true, we want to display my box. Otherwise, we can add a colon at the end and add a container or even a sized box dot shrink. And this will effectively show nothing. For example, now if we untick the box, we can see that our box disappears. Now this does work, but if we just simply want to hide the box, it does give us the overhead where we have to define what we want to show instead. And that would be, of course, this sized box dot shrink. Perhaps we could change this to instead of showing the sized box dot shrink, we only display this using an if statement by saying if, and we pass the should show just like that. We now get the same response and we can untick the box and the item will disappear. Now we are able to go ahead and add an else to this. We can give some text which says hello world. And when we save this and untick the box, we can now see hello world. I think the if statement is perhaps a little bit more readable and cleaner than the ternary statement. And one thing you will have to keep in mind for this is that if you go over to pubspec.yaml, you'll need to make sure that your environment SDK is greater than 2.30 for the if statement to be supported. As you can see right now, we're using 2.70 and above as long as it's below 3.0. However, while this does work, I don't necessarily love the idea of having too many if and else statements inside of our build methods. So we can look at some widgets that can help us out with that, such as opacity or visibility. Let's start off with opacity. So we'll remove the else statement for now and we'll remove this if statement and we'll add a new widget that wraps over my box. That widget will be opacity. As you can see, it requires an opacity. So we can set the opacity equal to the value of should show. Then if it is true, we'll set that to one, otherwise zero. Now we have a widget based conditional. If we untick show box, you'll notice that our box disappears. But one thing does still remain true. If we click the area where the box was, we get the snack bar of hello snack bar. And we can show this in another example if we add some text underneath, such as hello world, that when we make the box invisible, it doesn't necessarily remove it from the tree. It is simply just doesn't paint it at that point. So while opacity can be used to remove elements it really shouldn't be used to remove elements unless you also wrap this inside of something like an ignore pointer. If we added the ignore pointer to our opacity, now when we click the I'm visible box, we don't get a snack bar. But as you can imagine, it's not necessarily what we want to do in this scenario. So let's remove the opacity and let's also remove the ignore pointer. Instead, we'll wrap our widget with something called a visibility. The visibility has a visible boolean. We can add that to be should show. And now when we untick the show box, you'll notice that our my box no longer renders in the tree. This is important because it means that if we click the area of where the box was, not only does it firstly not take up the space, but it also now doesn't show a snack bar. But what if you want to display a replacement in the same sense as before we had this ternary, well, we can use the replacement widget. So if we pass in a replacement such as I'm now visible and we can remove hello world for now, you'll notice that this text of I'm now visible doesn't appear. But when we untick the show box, we now see I'm now visible. Even if we click this element, 
we still don't get the snack bar because we aren't displaying this child of my box. And the great thing about the visibility widget is that we can also, if we wanted to, under certain circumstances, maintain different things, such as the size, the state, semantics, interactivity, and animation. Let's just set all of them to be true for now. And now when we untick the show box, you'll notice we don't get the replacement. And that's because we're maintaining things about this widget. We're not intending to replace the widget with something else. We are still maintaining things like the animation, state, interactivity, and so on. This means that the gesture detector will still hit when we tap this and we get the hello snack bar at the bottom. If we add some text underneath, such as hello world, we can see that the widget still takes up that space. It also can be interacted with. And this gives us much more flexibility and readability for other people in our team than simply just using an if or ternary statement. So here in this video, we identified numerous ways in which we can programmatically display or hide a widget with Flutter. In most circumstances, the visibility widget is the preferred method, but you can use other options such as opacity, even things like animated opacity, off stage, and so on. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have, hit that subscribe button to stay updated with more videos. And of course, I'll see you in the comments.